We will hear. <laughs> we will hear Legends of Ian next time. He thought just because he was surrounded by three girls, he was in a harem. <sighs> he thought because he was surrounded by three women, he's in a harem. No, he was don't... convinced. That's pretty. And he still argues it. That's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to the Dread Pirates role-playing games, City of the Spider Queen. Joining me is Digby. Hi. Uh, also with me is Jedhead. Fluffernutter. Fluffernutter. And also is Alex's soon-to-be-dead character. <laughs> Should I... Dead again. Dead again character, yes. Um, so, uh, Nick and Davis shall join us later. Um... Whenever, hopefully soon, we'll we'll find out. I, I don't know. Uh, I I know the Davis is working. Um, the Nick I don't think is, but I I, I don't. Yeah. Our series a bitch. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they're probably having gay sex. We don't know. We don't know. We're not sure. We're not sure. I would you know. Fun, Je Jed's supposed to give us information on that since you know he likes traps, but um you know nothing so far. What do traps have to do with either? Everything. Of them? Everything. Anyway, they really don't. <laughs> They, like, really don't. All right, Alex, are you done making your fucking uh, hair? Okay. So. Are you actually done making your hair? There are 40 people that have subscribed to you. Oh, uh, by the way, by the way, I, I made 100 subs. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm super happy about that. I haven't been back to YouTube in a while, and I'm very sorry. I know I'm dating this recording. I've just been busy with school people. But I really appreciate all that, and we need to do, like, a 100 sub special or something like that. But in the meantime, yeah, that's that's really, really dope. But, yeah. Joke's on you. I am a 100 sub special. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, this is, well, to the 100 people out there. To the 100 people out there that regularly watch this channel. Yes. I am playing a character... From a fan fiction that I read called Make a Wish. This character's name is Mr. Black. He is considered to us to be. And You're taking way too long. It's Harry Potter. Um, yes, Harry Potter Harry was Potter. a terrible Marty Stew, who's half vampire, yes. half werewolf, has a, a really tripped out, badass edgelord motorcycle made by a mad scientist. Yes. And powered by a horse ghost and with a scythe because Let of metal. Let me build up my character the way I want to build him. I know, I mean... It would be more disappointing if you did. <laughs> Hurry up and finish your fucking character, motherfucker. So it's like... Okay. He, he's building his character. Is we're going to... Is that why it's called Make-A-Wish? I hey. wish... I wish Alex had made it... His character was, was done so I could just add him to the game already. But, you know... My wish hasn't come true. Your wish will never come true. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> For I have a bottle of sand, and each grain of sand is a dream that never came true. So, all right. Um, when last we met, um, Reinhardt was just running from everything because, because like, just the shit's hitting the fan in the Undying Temple and Castle Maramidra. Just, just monsters are just punching the shit out of each other, left and right, blood and death everywhere. Um, dwarf. No one is spared. Elves, goblins, dwarfs who look like John Wick. No one is spared. No one is spared the bloodletting and the death. Uh, and, and, he, and, and he's running to that top of the temple. He's running to run the top of the temple, and he's running to a room, exhausted and badly beaten, um, scared shitless from the things he's seen, uh, and he's running to two drow guards in armor. But we're going to cut back away, and we're going to go back to uh, Zithmore Kane. Uh, Sir Raven, the Kenku, Bard, and Barbarian, how are you doing? He is typing. Jed. Yes. It's your fucking turn. I am turning into voiceover right now. Ha! This is work. Are you ready to play or not? I'm always playing in life. Okay, to well then, fair, like, like you, did you, say, you can fucking multitask. You did specify this beforehand. You yeah. did specify you have to turn this in before. Yeah, you fucking bitch. You didn't fucking say shit. You said, like, oh, yeah, I'll be ready. Yeah, you fucker. Can you multitask? Yes, you want me to roll? You no, I just want you to, what what roll nothing! You already won the roll. That's why we're focusing on you. You run initiative. I'm rolling. Oh god. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, good. I already failed! Good! Then you gotta fucking deal with me. Now listen, you're in Zithmore Kane. What are you doing? You've been staying here at the behest of the Queen. 
What are you talking about? I swooped in using my muscles, busted on a door, and what did these guys say? DO NOT CRY! <laughs> okay, you, you swoop in and bust the door of the queen's chambers, and the queen is startled, and you notice that the queen, uh, is, like, huddled in her, in her, her throne. Uh, around her are two other figures. There's a wizard who's holding a crystal ball, looking deeply into it. She's looking deeply into it. They all look nervous. Uh, and there is, um... I hate you. Uh... And there's there's uh there's also a priest, the priest of Garenor, uh, uh Thedric, and and some startled guards, but uh, you 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 come in and startled everybody and 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 screaming, do not cry, and they're like, <coughs> Sir Raven, no. what are you doing here? Come, <coughs> Sir Raven, we need your help. Zin's dead. What do you want? Zin is dead. Lord Metaraka, we're, we've lost track of him, and Reinhardt. He's ah! Stop calling for a minute and let us explain. He he's made it to the top, like close to the top of the temple, and he's surrounded by monsters. You need to go in there. You need to help him out. Dead silence. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can can you go there? Can you teleport there? Ah! I <laughs> swoops out the and the wall just busted open and starts flying. You start flying out. Okay. Well, you're in the castle, so I mean. Oh you God. start flying inside the castle. Are you going to leave the castle? Oh I said I just left the castle. I busted into the, into the wall again. You're going to have to... Okay, you're in the center of the castle, so if you bust through a wall, you're just going to... First of all, you're going to vandalize the castle and piss her the fuck off. Uh, second of all, um, you're going to have to make a strength check for that if you're going to do that shit. And, and you're going to have to do multiple layers of the castle in order to get outside the castle. So are you sure you want to do that? Fine, I'll walk. Okay, you, 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 okay, you're walking, you're gonna leave the castle? Sure. Okay, you're gonna go to right where Reinhardt's at? Oh I'm just gonna God. skip oh that God. way like a chicken. Oh my God. You real, okay, do, do you even know where he's at? I would assume I do, because the queen probably told me. No, she didn't, because you decided to caw and fly out of the room. Like I know in. these things, I'm like a messenger bird. Okay, so you don't know where to go. So how are you gonna go find find Reinhardt? Okay, look, if you're just gonna drop me in here and say like, okay, what are you gonna do, I Jed? <laughs> yeah, I'm I kind of expect things. you to fucking role play, motherfucker. What's don't start play? with me. I know you know how to do it, liar. I don't mean li liar. You, you fucking liar. Well, I don't know how to role play. I don't know how to role bullshit. Bullshit. This motherfucker ran Fallout for me and it was one of the best fucking games I ever role, role played. This motherfucker was hilarious at Halloween. Don't you give me that shit. You can role play. You don't role play. Hey, this I motherfucker know. this motherfucker does voiceovers for adorable poor you know, like 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 children's books that about farting. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So don't tell me you don't know how to role play, sir. Don't tell me that. Don't give me that shit. So you get into character. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? You're in you're in Zithmore Kane, you're outside the castle, you're on a big old spider web. And you what are you gonna do? I would try to meet the other two. Okay, you don't know where they are. Well, I want to find information that would get me over there. Okay. How are you gonna go about doing that? I don't know. How the fuck does this work? You might want to ask the people that you just burst in on that were talking about it, and like ask them for more information. They know things? Yeah, they do. They were looking to a crystal ball. I don't... <sighs> oh my I'm glad God. I frustrated you. <laughs> That's what my life's like every day. Every day, Jed. Every day. This shit is hard. It's some bullshit. Look, life is hard. Life is hard, motherfucker. Look, man. I fuck feet. What? Now I'm just Wait, stealing what? jokes. Now I'm just stealing what? jokes. What? Uh, what? Now I'm, I'm just stealing jokes from Dave for Chappelle at this point. Who knows? Look, man, everybody fucks funny. I fuck feet. I, I will press women's feet together, and I'll fuck the little hole in between the feet. You can't rape feet. <laughs> that That is that is an image, sir. That is an image. <laughs> yeah, and I'll give you some more if you don't start role-playing right now. What are you going to do? Ah. Uh, fuck. Um, Squawk. I, I don't know. Okay, after about five minutes, um, 
the cards are kind of like just like looking at each other. It's like, why is he doing here? And finally, like Dessa and 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 the, the three people that were in the throne room just walk out. It's like, uh, are you are you gonna go help them? Help? Yeah, are you gonna go help Reinhard? You said you were gonna do it a minute ago, and you just flew off. Squawk? <laughs> Shit. I can't take. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, can you can you teleport to where they are by yourself? Okay. No. Okay. Um, the old man, the the wizard, steps up. Like, I can help you with that. I will beam you to where he's at, so you can lend aid. You fine with that? I nod. Okay, stand still. And he says, Hooga booga booga, cast a spell. Poof! Congratulations, you've been teleported away. Jesus Christ. And by the way, Jed, this is what we call spoon feeding a man. Spoon feeding! <laughs> Hope you appreciate being spoon fed. I do, Shame. actually. Shame. This makes it a lot. I mean, this makes it a little bit easier. Okay. All right. Opposite the hole in the floor through which you came, which you didn't come through because you got teleported in, is a straight wall with a door set in its middle. Another wall curves around alongside the hole, and a third wall joins the two, but it uh, seems only half substantial, where it meets the curving wall. The shorter wall is blurry, as if it were made of smoke. No hole leading upward is visible. Um, yeah. And um, in, in it, you recognize Reinhardt. Uh, it's a man you've met previously. It's a human who wears a big, high-tech-looking suit of armor. And he looks all beat to hell. And across from him are two drow guards in armor that have just drawn swords on him. And uh, that's what you see. And you are in U24, for the record. Reinhardt! You're exhausted, you've had a very hard day, and then suddenly the bird person you met once appears right next to you. Hello? I wave my wing. Like I'm gonna roll initiative. Okay. I'm gonna roll initiative for these assholes. Hold on. Yeah. Hey Alex, you know your fucking character yet? Yeah. Oh, they crit. They go first. Uh. Well, they're actually not gonna. What? I'm so talking to Bert. Yeah, go ahead. Did that just send you? You're allowed to talk back, sir. Jed. What? You gonna you gonna respond? To? To he just asked you to send you. Who's that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> We're not even in the game yet, and I'm, and I'm so freaking. Not to interrupt! <laughs> but. I mean, to, it, be, to be fair, yeah. it, took me, it took me until this campaign to actually remember her name. That's that's true. That's Every the single that's the time only before fucking, this, I, that's the only I had campaign to keep, you've ever played! <laughs> this is the only fucking no, I, the Halloween this, game. This session. Up to this session. You've been you've been hugging this bitch every time you go and see her too, and you just didn't know her name. Fucking dickhead. Jesus. I'm not good with not, names. Oh okay. Neither am I. That's a fucking alright, well that's a fucking excuse. Reinhardt, it is your move. Um awkward conversation aside. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, alright. There are two mean looking drow in armor in front of you that have drawn swords. Alright. How far away are they? Thirty feet. Me? Are they next to each other, or is there a space between them? They're they're close enough next to each other. They're basically guarding a doorway, so it's like there's like maybe five to ten feet in, in between them. But it's like okay, I'll use our shatter on them. All right, sounds good. Uh, what do I have to do? Uh, you see eighteen strength saving throw. Eighteen strength saving throw. Yep. Okay. Uh, I have their character sheets right over here. Uh, uh they do not make it. Okay, so they're gonna take full damage. 
damage. Yep. And uh, fall prone and he's done. And I'll give you that full damage number after I roll it. Okay. Fifty nine force damage. Fifty nine force damage. Jesus. Uh, okay. Fifty nine. Jeez. Yeah. There's a reason I survived up for now, guys. This is Come true. On. This is true. <laughs> I'm used to most hits either just being like one through ten or instant kills. Fair. Well, to be fair. This one is usually an instant kill. Yeah. These two, it does okay. not instantly kill. You slam the ground. Boom! And this huge shockwave shakes the ground. The two Sanctum Defenders fall down, slamming the ground hard. Ah! And howl in pain. But they are still alive. But they look a little bruised up. And they are stunned for one round. So they are going to be stunned for that one round and not do anything. Um, Sir Raven, what are you going to do? Other than stand there Don't confused forget. and squawk. Don't forget, they did fall from... They are fall. They have, they they have fallen on the ground. Yep. Uh, I would probably take out my dagger and try attacking. Okay, you're gonna attack uh, these two dudes that are on the ground. Yes. Okay. Which which you just, left or right? Which one are you gonna hit? I'll left go for the right one. You hit the right one. Okay. Uh, you may. Yeah. Go ahead. Just 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 attack. I remember the first time I went. To the um. Group. It was. When we're still on the overworld or yeah. above ground, mm -hmm. and the army was marching out of the gates. That was pretty dope. What did you roll, sir? Uh, 25. 25, you hit. Let's do your damage. Okay. Do you have multiple attacks? Um, I, not to my knowledge, no. Okay. So just seven. Seven damage? Yeah. Shit. Okay. Uh, you stab one of them on the ground. Ah! And he howls, and he's not looking good. He's bleeding now. Reinhardt, what are you going to do? Alright. Uh, I'm going to go up to the one he did not hit and multi-attack. Okay, you may multi-attack. Alright. Uh, do I have to... Do I still have to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. They're not stunned anymore, so they can roll out of the way. But they are prone. They are prone. So, right, so first one, 24. Hit. Next one, 14. Next one's what? 14. Does not hit. And 21. Ah, uh, that hits. Okay. So you hit him, he rolls out of the way the next one, then you hit him again, and he, he isn't able to escape that one. One, yeah. Now, looking up how much damage I, how much boneless damage I get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting the fact that. that well, if, if you want, like you, you, you can give it to me an individual, like um, you tell me like per hit if you want, because. Yeah. No, no. I mean, like, there's the attack does has its own amount of damage. Like I rolled this amount and add that much, but then because of the. Uh, Love fling up in 3.5. I get bonus damage from my melee attack. Okay. And I, I just always forget that. I okay. Alright, you confused me, but I, I think I understand what you're talking about. So. Uh, so. 33. Okay. And then. 25. 25. Uh, okay, he's dead. You slam him once, he rolls out of the way, you hit him again. Where are you going to hit him the second time? On his head. Uh, Gallagher. Boss splat. His, you crush his head like a melon and there's blood everywhere. That one's dead. Um, okay. Um, the other guy that, that, um, Sir Raven just stabbed stands up. Sir Raven, what are you gonna do? Um, try going for another attack. Uh, okay. Alex, how's that character coming? It's, it's coming. Okay. Oh, not 20. Not 20, okay. It's getting there. Is it coming on my face? 
Yes. That is a thought. It will soon. Okay, good. Only if, only if you can fit. So three and two. So 15. 15 damage? 15. Okay. Oh, 15 for the total attack? Yes. Uh, that misses. So... What? No, I mean, like, if I roll in that 20, then 15 for damage. Oh, 15 damage. Okay, all right. You fucking confused me. So... Um, multiply that by two, then, so 30 damage? What? Multiply by two? I thought you rolled two dice. No, because... Stop! Dead. Stop. Right? <laughs> okay, Jed. Did yes. you follow the rules for what you're supposed to do when you when you do a critical? You, I mean, you multiply your, and you double your dice. Okay. It's fine. Where do you stab this guy? Body. Okay, you stab him in the chest. Ah! He's bleeding out his chest and holding his chest. He doesn't look good. Reinhardt, what are you going to do? Does D&D have targeting rules? You can. If you want to do a cold hmm. shot, it's a minus four uh, uh, to, you know, for cold shots. But it's like, you know. I did not know they had that. Yeah. They, people don't always I'm, use them because they they lower again. It, it it takes like minus four to whatever your attack is, so it's like it, it's the same idea for like fall. You can do targeted shots, but it lowers your chance of doing it, but it increases your chance of crit. Yeah, that's why actually, um, um, Nick's vampire character cut like uh, Lorala's leg off because he <laughs> deliberately targeted her knee. So it's like, all right, and you did a ton of fucking damage. You lop her knee off. So <laughs> Yank. Yeah. The Reinhardt is your move. I'll go up and I'll attack him. And I'll attack him and just cut. Okay. Uh, 13. Miss. 14. Miss. And 49. Hit. Alright. So he's ready suddenly. He blocks, you know, blocks your first attack with a, with a sword, ducks the second attack, and then you finally wallop him with the last. 31 damage. Jesus Christ! Just fuck. What was it? Okay, where do you, you guys get that kind of stuff? Damn. Yeah. Where do you hit him? In his chest. You hit him in his chest. His chest caves Back in. He vomits blood out of his mouth and just flies flies forward, hitting the wall and stops moving. You have killed the Sanctum Defenders. I'm, yeah, to be fair, if either of the first two attacks hit, it's 2d12 plus 21. This is true. If the, th if the third attack hits, it's 2d12 plus 10. Yeah. Too good. So you have killed the Sanctum Defenders. Everything's good. Hey, Alex, how's that fucking character coming? It's it's coming. Okay, I will continue to verbally abuse you until your character is ready. Sure, that's fine. I Son of a bitch. I won't listen to a single word. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Sir Raven. Hey, at least he's honest. Yes. What are you going to do? Uh, you just saw Reinhardt, like, kill this drow dude. In, in armor. So, in front oh, both draws are dead. Yes. Okay. Hey, do you know a healing spell? Uh, not to my knowledge. What are you doing? And he, he honestly did not give me spell list. Like, I'm not even joking on that one. You can check the Discord. He didn't include it. Are you supposed to do a spellcaster? Yeah, he's a fucking stupid fucking bard fucking fuck. Okay, do, do you know what, what spells you would have as a bard at this point in time? I don't know spells. Neither do I. Do, do you have, like, a, a sheet of, that would show you what how many spells you'd have right now? No. What do you want from me? Uh, I pat on the back. Uh, you I failed mean... the Dungeon Master patting you on the back from Florida. Okay, so he didn't give you specific I... spells, but he gave you a list of how many of like right. spell slots you do have. I and mean, I don't really know what kind of I mean, schools I have per se that I could use. Uh, but reasonably speaking, I would assume that I carry potions on me. Are that you I, carrying that... potions on you? Yes. Not lying to me. Not lying. Fucking lying. I, I'm, besides, I just built a character at, like, you're level watch your college. You're fucking lying to my face. You're fucking lying to my face. Fine, you have potions. I don't give and a I'm shit. nice enough to give them to you. Okay. What potions do you give to Reinhardt? Um, bitch. Call it. Uh, I wish Davis were here. I wish Davis were here, because Davis would give you more shit than I am. 
I would eat your shit. What, what spells exactly do you have? Is I'll give you a, a potion of superior healing. So, on the thing, it said your bard archetype was lore. Does that matter? I have no idea. I figured that can, like, determine... All of my hate. Okay. All of my hatred. Was this, was this a 5th level or 3rd level? Character? I think it's a 5th level build. That's it. Okay. Sparkly, oh, so... sparkly skull mug. You, cheer me, you can cheer me up. Hmm. The light glistens in the darkness. <laughs> like a rainbow in the dark. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You've invoked Dio, and thus I will forgive you. <laughs> Alright. Um, what was the question again? But it was me, Dio! Dio! <laughs> My god, the power of Dio's stand is unbelievable. Um, what was the question? Someone had a question. I'm happy you go along with that. I'm so happy. Okay, what, did you, you gave him a what potion? You gave him a what potion? Uh, potion of superior healing. This is a real thing? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, Reinhardt, you have a potion of superior healing. And I don't know what it does, okay. because it's probably a 5e item, and so I don't know what it does, but I'm looking it up. I'm, I'm... I know even less about 3.5. Whose fault is that? Theirs, because they made Pathfinder boring. Um, that's because they're better than Pathfinder, motherfucker. That's why. Um, uh, it heals 8 die 4 plus 8 hit points. You gonna drink it? Uh, yeah. Drink it. Chuck, 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 Chuck. 8 die 4. Four, you said? Eight, die four, plus eight. Plus eight. Okay. All right. Uh, 29. All right. So, 133. Yeah. 133 out of? 133 out of 376. 376? Okay. Yep. Okay, you feel a little bit better, but you also feel pretty damn sore. Um, so you're feeling good. Okay, uh, Reinhardt, what are you going to do? All right. Um, okay, so there's... We're in U24, you said, right? Yep. I'm going to check the door on the left. Alright. I'm just going to double check. Um, if this door will shoot darts at me as well? I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Thanks. For the reference, uh, Jed, last session, I there was a door that could just had the trap that just kept shooting eight darts out every time I touched the, the door. Oh, God. And I kept trying, and I kept touching the door over and over, thinking, oh, trap It'll is run out. out. Darts are empty. Nope. <laughs> Traps, darts have never died. That's, okay. like, really your fault. Okay, so touch are it, you... Touch it, like, to be fair, touch it two times, went upstairs, Kept getting cold damage. Went downstairs. Touched the door. Darts. Tried talking to the tower. Because tower's alive. Uh, didn't get a response. Hope it worked. Touched the door again. Nope, didn't work. Then I just gave up on the door. Yeah, you were pretty haggard. Um, how are you? What are you doing to the store exactly? Uh, I'm First, I'm going to attempt to touch it. To see if traps will happen again. If there are no traps, make a fort. Make a fort to save. God damn it! <laughs> of course there are. You know, it's been how many sessions? It's been several months. It's been a year. It's been a year since we started this session. When, you know, he got killed I mean, from touching a door he shouldn't. He doesn't learn. He doesn't never learns his lesson. Never learns his lesson. I mean, we've come a long way from that. I don't know that we have. 
Um, make a fortitude save. Uh, 26. Ooh, you're fucking lucky. I told you, we came a long way. <laughs> yeah, because it's the same fucking spell that was on that thing that killed you. And it could have killed you just now. You take 31 damage. Ooh. You are at 102. You are two less from when the session started. So you touch the door, and this, this energy just courses through and burns your body. And it's like, ah, ha, 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 And it feels familiar. It feels like the same energy that killed your ass. But that's not all that happens. Um, everybody got to make a fortitude save. It, like, both you and Sir Raven have to make fortitude saves. Again? Yep. Okay. Right. Uh, 32 this time. 32. All right. You're going to take half damage from this. I got 24. Um, you're also going to take half damage from this. Uh, so... You guys take... I'm suddenly really bad at math. Uh, you both take 13 damage. So... You, you understand me. Yeah, so Reinhardt, you are at 89. Uh, Sir Raven, what is your max hit points? Hmm? What is your max hit points? Um, Three fifty-one. Three fifty-one. Okay. And you've taken thirteen damage from that, so you're at three thirty-eight. Okay. And I have to look up this spell because I think it might. Hold on, let me take a look. Um. Yeah, it's giving off some kind of energy field that's, like, burning the both of you. And you, like, feel your body, your skin popping as if some kind of radiation is burning your, your skin. Um, okay, let me, let me double check. Circle of Doom. Oh, uh, you're using that... Instantaneous. All right. Okay. It just yeah. Just like and it, it, after you touch the door and get and get fucked up by it, this energy field just kind of like just just emanates from it and just and starts burning both of your skin. But you're alive and you're fine. So there we go. Uh, Sir Raven, what is are you gonna do? Is the energy field still happening? It stopped. Or is it just okay? I I am more or less focusing on just getting the sheet ready. Your best. Okay. Oh, I hate doors. You're, you're getting a sheet, you're getting a sheet ready? What do you mean? Like, uh, I'm... His character sheet. Yeah, I'm... He's, I'm, he's, trans I'm, he's transferring the screenshots that... Into all the stuff I need. Okay. Onto an actual character. Okay. Alex. So... You don't want your fucking yeah. character. Yeah. In the meantime... Okay. I am just going to let go of the door and sit in the corner... And just try and rest a bit. Okay, Alex, you, you're but done. That's Did you say you're done? Good old ring of regeneration. Yep. Okay, you're you're done with your character sheet. Yeah. Done completely. Let's let's go. Know all your disciplines. What's a discipline, sir? Okay. <laughs> all right. Yes, Here, I'll I'll, I'll ask the question. I'm gonna. I'll okay. ask the question for him. What's a discipline? Yeah, bitch. What's a discipline? No, I'm asking you, Eddie. What's oh, a discipline? a discipline? Discipline's a vampire power. Oh, okay. He's got disciplines as vampire powers. He's got rights as werewolf powers. You got all oh. those? You got all those, Alex? You got all those? You know what you know everything does? Do you? Oh, is that like the thing where he could turn into a fart cloud? Could possibly. It, it, it's it's specific to World of Darkness. Do you know all those? Oh. You know all your abilities? You know your abilities, Alex? You're not gonna you're not gonna fuck up in the middle of this, and not know what you're doing, right? <laughs> He he'll do that regardless of whether he knows his abilities or not. I know, I know, but I just want to know how bad it's gonna be. <laughs> All right, motherfucker, I'm assuming you're ready. Assuming you're ready, bitch. I ain't pulled my punches. I ain't pulling my punches. You know, when I was at Subway today, right before this game, Alex, I told him all about you. I told him your name, your home address. I doxed you. No, I didn't. But I basically told him that this is because like, you were on the phone with me. And I was like, yeah, this guy's making his character sheet. We don't think he's going to laugh. We're all going to take bets. And, you know, you should be happy to know that the, the lady there, she said she said she's going to give you seven minutes. I think that's too high. 
I don't think Mr. Black's going to make seven minutes. But we'll find out. I will give him seven rounds of combat. Seven rounds of combat, Jed. What do you? What do you? What do you think? I, I agree with the same. Seven rounds of combat. I'm going to give you five minutes. I'm going to give you five minutes. So, and now he's going to mute his mic because he's mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think minutes are too arbitrary. I'm going to go by rounds of combat. <laughs> rounds of combat. Okay, dude. <laughs> unmute your mic. You ready? Oh, he's fine. Go. All right. Do it. Okay. Now we agreed that you were going to arrive here by transporter accident. Yeah. Okay. So what was the last thing that happened to you? Because this is all right. So all right for for just to clarify, this is Alex is Harry Potter. He is playing Harry Potter in this one fan fiction where Harry Potter became a vampire werewolf hybrid and became a big crazy Marty Stew edge lord and went on all sorts of wacky adventures. And this is all during his summer vacation. This is all during his vacation. And he was calling himself Mr. Black because it's edgy. And also because um, he didn't want people to know he was Harry Potter at the time. And eventually he came back from this wacky road trip of doom. I think he was still a vampire? It was weird? Whatever. No, um, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. So um, so what was the last Wait, thing did that... did Alex happened? make you read this fanfic as well? He tried. He I tried. Did. I resisted that urge, but he tried. Well, how uh, dare you? <laughs> you don't understand. I've been insulting you all day. I don't think and any that's of what us sets will you ever off. understand. You <laughs> must read it to understand. I, I really don't want to. Uh, what was the last must. thing that happened to your character? Okay, so... Let me just pick a random arbitrary point. Okay, because pretty much anything that happened in this could... What, 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 what was the last thing that we decided upon? Because we talked about this yesterday. Um, just before, I want to say it was, I think it was just before he leaves for, to go back to England. Okay. I want to say that? Yeah. Just before he goes back to England, like, the professor's just like, oh, hey, we upgraded the teleporter so that way instead of just over the... Instead of just where the Zeppelin is, you can teleport from anywhere. Yeah. So Okay, so you're you're in the mad scientist laboratory and you're about to teleport back to England. Yes. Okay, and where are you expecting to arrive? I expect to arrive. Yeah. I expect to arrive somewhere in the United States. Probably Philadelphia. Expect to arrive in Philly of all fucking places. Yeah, this sounds like a Harry Potter story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, At least it doesn't say Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, okay. You you step into the transporter and it activates and you're teleported away and you are not in Jersey. You're, you're in Pittsburgh. You're or in a worse place. You're in a worse location. No. Why would you do this? <laughs> well, you might as well be in Pittsburgh because you're actually in U-22. So here's what you see. Um, the small landing has holes leading both up and down uh, and a door on one side. This area is quite cold. Um, and oh, you are undead, so I'm not going to... You are undead, so I'm not gonna, you're not going to have to worry about this. But it feels really cold in this room. Um, and you are not alone. You don't alone. have to worry about the cyborg. <laughs> yeah, okay. You are... Um, it, it, it's really cold in this room. Uh, it's a very small room, as you can see with U-22. Uh, there's a doorway, and there's hole leading up and down. And But you are not alone. There's stuff in this room, and let's determine what's in this, stuff, in, in this room uh, momentarily. Uh, okay. Is that the immortal samurai guy? Um, no. Not him. Didn't we? No. He's Didn't not we chasing you for some there? reason at this time, but he might later. Uh, but there's something else in this room. Uh, there are orcs! About fucking time. I've been wanting to use orcs on you guys for so long. The army had orcs in it. I've never had orcs. Just goblins and bugbears. Goblins and bugbears. And then an infernal and a bunch of demons. Goblins and bugbears. No orcs. Finally, I have orcs. About fucking time. I'm so happy. You fought orcs? Yeah. I fought orcs. Orcs. Yeah, well, people love orcs. People love orcs. Orcs are great at parties. I fought what's the orcs. Best, what's the best horde race? Orcs, of course. Orcs, of course, damn it. That's the babble. Okay, calm down. Time yeah, motherfuckers. You're gonna get some orcs. Hold on, let me see the organization. Jesus Christ, the organization. 
Green. I'm down. Four. Okay, that's a lot. Hold on. Son of a bit. God, fine. There's only. There's a lot of them. A singular orc. There's a lot of them. Uh. Oh. Okay, so every single space in this room has a creature in it. Uh, and it appears to be um, these tall green humanoids armed with axes and swords dressed like barbarians. There's a fucking lot of them, so... Um, Wait, did you say every single space? Yeah, except for the one that he's in. So let me take a look at it real quick. Alright, I'm going to say you're like right next to the, the top hole in the ceiling that goes up and down. Uh, so... I think there's about... Um, space in there. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of space here. Five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so like the, the room is stuffed with orcs. There are about ten orcs in this room. And it sounds like there's more of them downstairs. It's like, up to the top, up to the top, they're shouting. Oh, oh I raise sends her lapdog to fight us. We kill it. Yeah! And they look. They all her. sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger for some reason. They, uh, this is not an Arnold voice. This is an orc voice. Fuck it you! Like Fuck you! Or yes. <laughs> and you wonder why he tries to kill you. They have a five initiative. Oh, Alex, roll initiative. Yay! Just wondering when you'd ask. I'm not gonna pray today. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, oh yeah, cause I'm Mr. Black. I've got this. Okay, okay, motherfucker. Sure. No, it's because he forgot the offerings in the shed. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't want to run down and get them. Ran out of hookers. 23. Uh, 23, okay, good. You're going to go for these other motherfuckers. Mr. Black, Harry. Mr. Black and Mr. White. Uh, shut, the, shut the fuck up, edgy motherfucker. <laughs> edgy boy. Me? So, all right, you, you're 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 getting ready. A fight's about to happen, but we'll we'll worry about you in a minute. Yeah, my, yeah all, all you can do right now is tell, all you can do is right now is teleport in. Um, okay. Um, Sir Raven, you gonna do anything? No. You're just gonna stand there. Um. No, obviously, I'm going to hide. Hide, hide behind what? There's no objects in the room that you're in. I'm going to cover my face. If I, if I can't see them, they can't see me. Okay, um, Mr. Sir Raven covers his eyes. Covers his face. Do I have to roll for that? No, you do not. You just cover your eyes and cover your face. Oh Reinhardt, what are you doing? Reinhardt. Me? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, uh, I went and sat against the wall to try and get on that uh, ring of regeneration. Okay, and how, rest how, how long does it take you to fucking regenerate? How long does it work again? Uh, well, the actual ring says it. What was it? One d6 of hit points every 10 minutes, providing a minimum of one hit point. Okay, so how long are you going to rest for? Um. guess an hour at least all right that's six times so so you're gonna heal 66 damage okay so you're resting you're just sitting there your bird friend is oh, covering his face for reasons is, you don't understand why but you're gonna heal 66 this damage. Has been a long day and while you're doing that something's gonna happen I'm going to go to 155. All right, how, how much do you heal? I'm up, you said 66, so I'm up to six, 6 die 6, 6 die 6 damage. Oh, okay. 6 die yeah, 6 okay, die 6 is how much you heal. Okay. Alright, uh, 28. 28? Okay, you're at 117. Okay. Uh, 
You're standing there for about an hour. You're feeling a little bit better. You just, the longer you sit still, things are, things are better. You still feel like you've been beaten to hell and back. And something happens. It has been a long day. It's been a very long fucking day. Um, one, two, three, four. That's not ready yet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. And I roll a d12. Yes, Android, you are plugged in. Shut the fuck up. Broke ass motherfucker. Are you calling yourself that? Yes. That's sad. It is sad. Um. Okay. You don't need to um, put yourself down like that. So, um, so Sir Raven, I lied to you. Um, there is something in the room, and you just notice it now. There's a small um crate. That you, you didn't notice earlier, and you notice it's in a, in a corner. Okay. You guys gonna do anything with it? Open it, obviously. There's a mug in there. I have fun. A mug? A mug. About a pint's worth. Very good condition. I want to hand it to one of you guys, because I have a beak. Okay. Um, well, there's only other one person in the room, which of course would be um, uh, Reinhardt. Actually, you know what? It's got. A, it looks like it I looks. Have a large wagon. It looks like a glass skull, and it lights up. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. I found. I have I, a large if wagon. I look into it, can I see alien? You cannot see aliens. Yeah. Try to use it as a crystal ball. Um. It. It doesn't. It. It appears to be a novelty cup. In fact, it's actually, Reinhardt, it appears to be running off of electricity. Okay. Oh, neat. It's battery powered and says made in China underneath it. Okay. Uh... That is all. You found a mug. I can't tell if this is happening or if I just need to get some more press. <laughs> Okay. Right, do you take the mug? I have a large bag and I don't need it. Okay. Do you want the mug, Jed? Sure. Okay, you give it to Sir Raven and you're good to go. You hear some violence downstairs. You feel like underneath you, like a bunch of, there's a bunch, something being really rowdy and attacking someone. Because, Mr. Black, six orcs that are directly surrounding you start hitting you with axes. Oh. What's your AC? Something. Bitch! Something high. Tell me what it is, motherfucker. Ah, uh, one sec. We. Broke ass motherfucker doesn't know his own damn stats. Smoke chicken? Bring it in. Bring it in here. Show it to the room. I'll put this in the fridge. Outside. Yeah. What's your AC? Yeah. Actually, calculate that. What's your goddamn AC? I didn't calculate it. Ooh. Then they automatically hit you. You get hit by by six great axes. Oh. You take sixty six damage. What's your hit points? Two hundred and sixty. Okay. You take sixty six damage. So that is... You're at 194. Yay. They chop the fuck out of you. The other four then throw javelins at you. They automatically hit because you don't have an AC. 
Maybe you should hurry up and calculate your motherfucking AC. The DM hints. Maybe I should. Yes. Bitch. I know. You take 24 damage <laughs> from the javelins. Your, your vampire Harry Potter character is a goddamn pin cushion. Hey, Eddie. Yo. You're at 170 health. You like, uh, what? The, the, the DOS camp, right? Uh, DOS? What do you Remember mean? Remember those? Or, um, MSDL DOS game? I, what are we talking about? Have you never checked this out before? I, I don't, I, I don't know what this is at all. What do you, what do you, repeat again? The archive. With all the old games on it. I could uh, warn you. There's one. Who... The archive of old games. What, like like emulators? Yeah, like they got SimCity, Oregon Trail, Persia, Wolfenstein. Oh, yeah. I've probably, I probably heard of this, and this is a different one. Um, yeah, I, I am, I'm old. So it's like, uh, that's pretty cool. And my recent... Aha, uh -huh, funny name. Das Boot German U Boat Simulation. Nice. I love it. It's, I think it's the Maniac Teenage Mutant Mansion Turtles. Maniac Mansion Zool. There's like a Teenage Mutant Turtles, uh, like, um, like a text based adventure. That's cool. Catacomb 3D. Come on. The original Gauntlet. Yeah, there's, there's a shit ton of these games. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Does it have Bard? Thank you, sir. I approve. And Bard's Tale? I, I think they might have a Bard's Tale, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to. They have Hubert on here. Neuromancer. They got they got uh, Paperboy two, for uh, for DOS. That's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. I like MS DOS. That's pretty. Yeah. I'm I'm an oldie, so I like I like these old games. I grew up with a lot. This of is the kind of stuff I grew up with. Yeah. Much faster. Okay. Um. So, so Alex is dead. Um. Yeah. So a bunch of orcs just stab the fucking shit out of you, and 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 throw a bunch of harpoons at you because you didn't calculate your AC, like I knew you wouldn't. I knew you wouldn't do something right, but I didn't know your AC was going to be the fucking problem. But it is your turn now, sir, I'm, so what are you going to do? I mean, hey, he, he did say his character sheet was finished. Yeah, you said you, were finished. Uh, you said you were finished. You said you were finished. Fucking, fucking lied to me. Fucking lied to me. He just doesn't have... No, no, no. He just doesn't have an AC. Yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 I believed you. I trusted you, and you lied to me. No, he, he was being honest. His character did not have an AC. Don't you fucking... Don't you dare... Don't you dare make excuses for him, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is us paying excuses. This is us trying to keep him at zero AC it's... because of his mistake. I mean, <laughs> I understand that. I, I can appreciate that, but it's, you know, I mean, it's just, yes, it, it, it it's frustrating. So, good. I mean, that's the problem. Uh, all right. For these motherfuckers. Oh, jeez. going to combat. So, that's ten. Ten third-level sergeants. You know, it's fun to look through all these games. Not so much to actually play them now. No, I mean, well, I mean, I like them. I like, I, I like old-school games. It's like, it's, you gotta use your imagination a little bit on some of them. But it's like, um... Yeah, yeah. some of these did not age well. Um, yeah, some of them have not aged well, but it's like, you know, especially, like, you just gotta keep in mind you're playing older games. No, I think it's always great when you find a game that is still just, and pretty much just as good as you remember. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah. And, like, a lot of fun for me is just, like, being able to school an old school game that I was, I was not, I, I had difficulty with, like, a long time ago. Like, the original, uh, Ninja Turtles for the NES, for example, is like, you know, I can... I can smoke that game now. And before, it was like I would always get my ass kicked at the damn stage. And it's it's so good to actually be good at that game. All right, Mr. Black, you are, yes, I... you've been chopped to pieces, or like they started chopping you to pieces and throwing spears at you. What are you going to do? Okay, I am going to attack them with my scythe. Okay, you just going to attack the nearest one? Yep. How many attacks do you have? Three. Okay. You may attack the first orc. Twenty 
28. 28 hits. Spawn. Roll your damage. How much damage you do? 14. 14. Okay, where do you stab this orc? I will stab it in the chest. You stab him in the chest with your scythe. Prah! Plunges right through his chest. Blood gushes off and he falls still and he's dead. You may make your second attack on the nearest orc. Nineteen. Hit. Roll your damage. Okay. Twelve. Uh, twelve damage. Uh, where you hit this one? This one I will hit in the head. Hit this one in the head. Bah! It goes through part of his skull. Blood erupts out of his head. He clutches his face and falls over and starts twitching. He's not dead, but he's almost dead. Um, your third attack. Two. Uh, 22, you hit. Roll your damage. Nine. Nine damage. Where do you hit him? Um, this one, I'm going to go for the chest again. Plunge it into his chest. Bah! Plunges into his chest. He clutches his chest. Fall down. Twitches. Not dead, but it's pretty fucked up. Did you do anything else? Um. No, not really. Okay. All right. There is seven more orcs in this room. Uh, Sir Raven, you've been covering your face for an hour. What are you going to do? What's all there right now? What's that? What's all there right now? Uh, on your face? No, in the room. Uh, well, you just found a mug. Yeah, I got the I'm mug. Keep it. And he and I were resting. Yes. Are we still there? Or... I mean, you're still there. It sounds like someone's like some some or some fighting or action is going on downstairs. I'll I, I'll look over towards him, still sleeping in the ground. Nudge him a little bit, try waking him up. Because I, I'm obviously, if I've just been standing there covering my face, I wouldn't well, wait to hear it. You were covering your face, and then and then you discovered the mug, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah, so we found the mug, and it's more or less, I was pushing him, trying to wake him up first, and it's like, oh look, sounds. Okay. Reinhardt, what are you going to do? You hear that? Get yeah, I know. Mark I... Good. Think we should go look? Not again. <laughs> I grab my stuff and get behind you. Alright, guess we're waiting. Okay. I'll rest some more. How long are you gonna rest? I'll rest for another hour. You rest for another hour. Um, You heal 6x6. Six six. Yep, uh, point four. 24, okay. No people at home, I'm not going to explain the time disparity. 
That's what a good DM would this, do. No, this says the time is pretty. It's taking Alex that long to kill all the orcs. That's true. I have another in-game explanation. How much did you heal again? Uh, 24. 24? Yes, okay. So you're at 141. Feeling a little bit better. You know. Still pretty sore. Um, and something might happen. Some some shit does go down. <laughs> uh, I, what exactly? I'm not sure. Hold on. So while you're resting, okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you guys talk amongst yourselves because I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to make this all make sense. Hello. Hello. Fucking a orcs. All right. I can't stop rolling on fucking orcs. Son of a bitch. All right, so. All right, suddenly the door that you tried to open before um, flies open. And out of it comes an attractive woman wearing the garb of a barbarian, leather armor, armed with a sword. She runs out and turns behind her, and two orcs follow her and starts clashing swords with them. Reinhardt, you remember this woman. You encountered this woman in your travels between Zithmore Kane and, uh, and the, 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 the hill giant village, and you recognize her again. And there she is. She's in the castle fighting these two orcs alongside you. Well, well, look, well, by yourself, more or less, because, you know. Uh, oh. Hello. Oh, she <laughs> looks startled and then refocuses again on fighting the orcs. Uh, uh, I will get up and make my way towards her. Okay, excellent. To assist. And she has a base roll of 19. I have to pull up her character sheet. Daddy. Don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm just rolling initiatives. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, that's 22. Actually, uh, what's what's both of your the two of you? What's your what's your dexterities? Oh, uh, my dex. Yeah. Give me one second. Eleven. Just general. Uh, twenty dex. Twenty dex. Okay. Um, so she's going to go in between the two of you. All right, so you get ready to fight. Meanwhile, downstairs, um, so here's what happens. Oh. Uh, downstairs, Mr. Black, you killed three of the orcs. Three orcs run in to take the place of them, like, the other orcs move, move in. And then you see three other orcs scamper up from, from the floor below and fill in the spaces of the orcs that just, just moved. So those aren't going to go because they had to move into the room. But the other one surround you again. And once again, you take six axes to the face. Do you have an AC score yet, motherfucker? As a distraction, while Alex continues to try to figure this out, I've heard of the latest Jeez, update hurry for, up. for the dumpster fire known as Blizzard. Yeah. I don't know if any of you have actually been paying attention. To that. Uh, I, I didn't hear that exactly. I'm kind of waiting the for someone else to tell fire. Go ahead. The dumpster fire known as Blizzard. Um. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're Blizzard dumpster. Blizzard Entertainment. What did they do this yeah. time? They had released a statement on during a PR dead zone. It was like. Project at like 5 30 in the evening or something. Yeah. But that's why it's not really any, anywhere on the news mm -hmm. because of how it was. But they released a statement, not an apology, a statement saying, okay, we were a little harsh. The Hearthstone streamer, he's only banned for six months instead of a year, and he gets to keep his prize money. 
Oh, you're talking about the whole Blizz? Yeah, the Blizz chunk thing. Okay. I didn't hear about this at all. Yeah. But yeah. So, uh, during one of the big Hearthstone tournament, a honk a streamer goes during one of the live interviews. He goes onto the camera with a gas mask and supports the liberation of Hong Kong. Yeah. At and the casters duck on the table after seeing him come on with the gas mask acting as the bill. They can't do anything about it and they're not supporting it. They just duck on the table and let the man speak. So Blizzard after this after they take it off air. Uh, the Hearthstone guy, he gets a one-year ban. Has he's prize money for the event is revoked. Gets zero dollars from it. Uh, both the streamers or both the uh, casters get fired for letting it happen. Uh, not long after that, a Hearthstone collegiate team mm-hmm. and one their interviews hold up a, a little handmade poster supporting Blitzchung and Hong Kong Riders Deliberation. Right. Which causes uh, Blizzard to cancel all live camera feed and interviews for the rest of the collegiate season. I mean, the guy, the way the way the guy went about it was kind of shitty. But I mean, at the same time, it's like that's a good cause, you know. And, I mean, and it's like, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, and then, like, uh, last week they released a statement that I just told you about, uh, cutting the streamers ban in half uh, and reinstating his prize money. Mm-hmm. stating, okay, he did still uh, break the rules, but we were a little harsh on him. Mm-hmm. Uh, as for the casters, they were downgraded to a six-month ban as well instead of uh, just outright, we're not going to work with you guys ever again. Yeah. Uh, and here, here's the best part. Mm-hmm. The, harsh, the, the collegiate team the held up poster? Yeah. They're like, okay, like, this is still shitty. We're just going to forfeit all of our games for the rest of the season. Right. Because you guys are bitches and fuck you. <laughs> Pretty uh, much. I mean. It, in in the statement, talking about the reduced senses and stuff, they go on to say the Hearthstone team <laughs> will also be banned for six months. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, on one hand, it's a case of, oh, you can't quit. You're fired, bitch. Yeah. On the other hand, oh, look, we're, we're just being equal. Equality, you know? Right. All these guys got banned for six months for doing this. You guys got off scot-free. Nah, you guys also get banned for six months. Yeah. So, like... And... It all stems from the obscure ruling of the Blitzchung breaking, and I use air quotes, breaking one of the rules for the actual tournament. Right. Which is basically, if right, if Blizzard decides that what you say, if they don't like what you say, mm-hmm. they can ban you and take away all your prize money. Yeah. So that's, that's just... literally the rule. It's nothing about controversy or anything. It's just okay. We don't like that you said that. It could offend some people. It could get us in trouble with some people. Right. We're just gonna ban you and take away all your money. Yeah, they're being bitches. No. Yeah. They're, they're, they're... Yeah, that was a bitch move. Yeah, it's definitely a bitch move. Um so I, I I mean that's the thing the guy the way the guy the guy did like a big publicity something that's disruptive so it's like it would make sense to I'm, sequester the guy a it little was bit after but they, yeah they didn't I'm, they did not go about hand, it the yes. right way at all it's like on the other hand it was after the whole tournament he yeah. had won the tournament and this was the post 
tournament interview. Yeah. Dude, exactly. what? That's the part that goes a little too far. Yeah, that was so, like, a so they're just there. Yeah, this is this is like Sony making you know co towing to like freaking Kim Jong Un. They're being idiots. Anyway, Alex, do you have do you have an AC yet? I have an AC now. What's your fucking AC? Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. Before I attack, you sound so happy. Before I attack you, um, you you notice that the orcs don't look very good. Like they're rushing to attack you. But they're they all look they all look sick they all look like like all of them like it, it, like just look look like pale and like Ugh, Ugh, we have to kill him now and six of them attack you uh five miss yeah you were startled you were startled that's why they were able to hit you the first time but now you got your you got your groove back um seventeen you're miss. like hey that hurt ten miss twelve miss uh. <laughs> 12 miss and a natural one um the, the last one that tries to swing at you he raises his axe to swing and then he just vomits and there, there's like blood in his vomit and he just like is just holding his head um three of them entered the room so only one of them can throw a javelin one's gonna throw a javelin at you uh he rolls a 13 he misses they're not looking good and you're not sure why all you know is you feel a little cold for some reason it's not effective i you, think but you feel cold that's what you go through. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, um, back upstairs, uh, the two orcs that are attacking the barbarian lady, they look fine. And um, they're going to, they're attacking this lady, but they also notice that there's a bird man and a big armored motherfucker in the room. So they're like, ooh, ooh, we have options. So one of them's going to swing his axe at the bird man. Bird man! So Raven, what's your AC? It is... Hold on, he needs to calculate it. No! <laughs> Nope. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Motherfucker. Why you do this to me? Why you do this? That Why you do this? Much, that was a much better reaction than I was expecting. Yes. All right. In in all honesty, though, how do you actually calculate your AC? Uh, it's ten plus your Dex modifier. Um, this motherfucker over here. Has okay. bonuses to his defense, which he should be adding to his AC. I'm looking at you, Alex, but I don't know if he's done that because I didn't build this character for him. So. Wow, Alex is going on his own tangent. I'm... Yeah. Twice, twice now. Yeah. We already, we already killed the last one. <laughs> yeah, no, he we, like yeah, his character's dropping like flies all of a sudden. So. <laughs> his last character was pretty cool though too. It was basically a dwarf version of John Wick. It was pretty. Like Siri, all props, man. That was a cool idea. I was like, you know, that was that was pretty. It dope. was, however, yeah. you definitely fucked up somewhere. Yeah, you did. But um, you, you did. I mean, you didn't have anyone kill your dog. I think. I think Mr. No, he, Black. He what? I think Mr. Black is a little silly. It's a little Marty Stew, but you know, part of me is like, this is pretty dope. It's like, Harry, <laughs> Terry Potter's a vampire werewolf hybrid with a freaking like ghost motorcycle. That's just, that's kind of cool. That's kind of metal. So it's like I'm gonna give you props there. Uh, but what is your AC, um, Sir Raven? AC, 15. 15, okay. Uh, so one of them's going to swing at you. And That's he has 11. He, he, he swings and he, you, you duck out of the way and like flat back and like quack quack. And you're fine. Uh, the other one is going to attack. Uh, he's going to keep attacking the lady. So he swings at the lady and he rolls a 15. Uh, he should have attacked you, but he didn't. Um, and she's a 16. What is her weapon? She's using... I think she's using a broadsword, actually. Um, no, she has a great axe. She blocks it with her own great axe, and she's fine. She's good to go. Uh, meanwhile, downstairs. Um, dude, you're looking at... Okay, so so Mr. Black, you're looking at these orcs, and they don't look good. They look really sick. They're like... Ugh, uh, they're just like... They're all shaky on their feet. Uh, and, and just like... You're not sure what's going on, but they don't look good. You don't know why they don't look good, but they don't look good. Um... Although the cold is, you know, like, like, is it too chilly for you in here? What's, someone turn on the air conditioning? What the? Okay. It's like, you know. And again, like, like, this is like, and, 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 and all you can think, all you can think, Mr. Black, is this is the worst trip to Pittsburgh you've ever had in your entire life. Yeah. This is just this, the absolute, is, you know, it just. This, this trip has been shit. You could have gone to the Grand Canyon when you visited the United States, but no, no, Hermione had to see Pittsburgh. Because okay, she, first off, because she, she because she's a Steelers fan, so you know, yeah. I mean, that's Mister White. <laughs> yes, that's going to be my my character if I ever die. Oh God, 
And I'm and I'm going to show Alex how a proper monk kills his enemies. Getting some this race is wars my character. Here. It's getting some race wars up in here. All right, um, Mr. Black, it's your move. What are you going to do? Yes. Cool. I'm going to activate that Dementor cloak I have. Okay. Um, all right, so roll one die four, because that's cold damage. Uh, and what's the range? What did the range we decide in that end? 30 feet? Um... It wasn't... I think it was 20 feet, but I'm not sure. I, may, I invented the fucking thing. It's 30 feet in all directions, so it's like... 30 uh, feet, okay. Yeah, all right, so... 5, 10. There ain't a whole lot of room in this, this room. You're about like... You know, it's like... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's like 30 feet, like, uh, you know, like, all together. So you're going to hit everybody in the room with this thing. So just roll one die four real quick. Okay, I rolled a three. You rolled a three? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, the will save is 31, by the way. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, I'm roll, not even gonna ro- I ain't going to even roll that will save just yet. Actually, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm no, I'm not because it's not going to affect the people that are in, that that are they're going to storm into this room in a minute. But um, you rolled three Give damage. Give me one minute. You rolled a three, right? Yes. Okay. You act. You activate your cloak, and all of a sudden, their bodies just like start freezing over, and they're, oh, and they start freezing over, being case and ice, and they fall over, hutter, uh, 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 all over, uh, shuddering. All ten of them have just collapsed in this room that you're in. Uh, they've all they've all just fallen down, and they're just like you are a room, and there's just there are like cold and dying orcs everywhere, and you know. Obviously, they couldn't take the heat. Oh my god! And on that note, we're gonna stop the recording. Oh <laughs> my I hate god! Because I hate oh you. My god.